Hello guys, in this video we are going to make the attack movement and adjust the run animation. So let's get started. First, disable the helm and armor. Then we are going to work in the animation tab. We will create a new clip, sword slash. Select these three sprites from the player, drag and drop in the animation. Now adjust the frame for each sprite. I've attached two more sprites inside the sword hierarchy to make the attack effect. Next, we are going to add the property that we will use. Also, this property can add automatically when we modify the animation. We will select the property is active from these sword sprites and adjust the animations, setting check and uncheck in the correct frame. First, we will move the sword sprite. Click on record to start to register the changes. Selecting the sword, we are going to put in the hand to start position attack. Now, we are going to add the last sword sprite and checking the is active property in the last sprite of the animation. Next, we are going to make code to attack and trigger the slash animation. We are going to add a boot property is attacking. Next, we will use this variable in fix update. Now, using the input get button fire one, that is the left click in the mouse, setting is attacking true. Next, we will stop the room movement setting vertical and horizontal in zero and also the speed parameter in the animator now we will trigger the animation slash also we have to ask if is attacking is false to not move the player while is attacking but first, we have to create the transitions and the parameter to sword slash animation in the animator and make the adjustments. This transition is from any state to sword slash. And now the parameter is a trigger. Test the animation and make the adjustments as you like. Now, we will create an event to reset the property is attacking. 
right click in the 12 second or before to finish the animation. Click on add animation event. Create the public method alert observers with the parameter string message. If message is attack ending, set the is attacking in false. Next, in the animation event, select this method and set attack ended in the parameter. Test and see how it looks. Next, we will adjust the run animation with the sword. Here, only we will use the record to modify the sword position. I will make this with a speed camera. So, only select each sprite from the run animation and put the sword in the hand toward player, making that effect that the sword is attached in the player. The last adjustment, select all the sprites, right click and in the menu, select constant in both targets to remove the smooth effect. You can see this change in the curves tab. And that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.